In recent years, computer-generated holography algorithms have begun to highlight the potential for holographic near-eye displays to offer unprecedented capabilities for virtual and augmented reality systems. In these displays, coherent laser illumination propagates to a spatial light modulator, which delays the phase of the wavefront of light as dictated by an inputted phase pattern. The resulting interference creates an image that is seen by the user through an eyepiece. Now, MEMS-based phase SLMs have emerged which have the potential to revolutionize these holographic displays. These SLMs can switch phase patterns at an extremely high frame rate. In this work, we use Texas Instruments MEMS-based phase SLM, which can show eight phase patterns for each color while running at 60 frames per second. The time multiplexing of these phase patterns offers additional degrees of freedom that can greatly improve the quality of holograms. The computer-generated holography algorithms that we discuss compute the phase pattern for these SLMs. With our algorithms, Phase patterns can be designed to produce desired intensity distributions in a target volume in front of the SLM. Since we can control the intensity distribution across a full volume, our phase patterns can simultaneously reproduce accurate depth cues for a full 3D volume. As a result, captures from a camera at the output of our display exhibit natural defocused behavior. Achieving these results has required developing a new framework to fully utilize the capabilities of MEMS-based phase SLMs. While the speed of these SLMs enable time multiplexing, they only have 16 discrete levels of phase modulation. This is much less than the 256 levels conventionally offered by slower liquid crystal type phase SLMs. As a result, using the previous state-of-the-art computer-generated holography algorithms with the TI-SLM only produces limited image quality with speckly defocused behavior. However, with our novel framework, we produce substantial improvements to in-focus image quality along with natural defocused behavior and a shallow depth of field. Our framework also supports a variety of supervision sources, including 2D, 2.5D, 3D, and 4D targets. To produce these results, our framework has a differentiable quantization layer for optimization through heavily quantized SLMs and a learned propagation model to compensate for non-idealities in holographic displays. It can be used to optimize a phase pattern or phase patterns for a variety of target intensity distributions with gradient descent solvers. First, the differentiable quantization layer is necessary to effectively backpropagate gradients through the non-differentiable process of quantization. Previous CGH methods assume continuous phase and quantize only at the very end. While this naive approach works for liquid crystal type SLMs, it does not work as well with highly quantized SLMs. On the right, we plot the simulated image quality with eight frames on a four-bit SLM using this naive approach. A better approach is to quantize the forward pass and approximate the gradients with a differentiable surrogate function for backpropagation. Here we propose to treat the quantized SLM values as a categorical distribution with gumbled noise for the surrogate function. With this approach, we demonstrate improved performance both in simulation and in experiments. After this differentiable quantization layer, our framework uses a learned propagation model to overcome the physical non-idealities present in holographic displays. At the start of our propagation model, each inputted phase pattern is quantized with a learned lookup table. Next, a learned amplitude and phase modulation that can compactly characterize imperfect incident illumination is applied. This wavefront is then passed through a CNN that models aberrations at the SLM plane. The resulting wavefront is propagated with ideal ASM propagation to the target planes, during which an amplitude and phase modulation is applied in the Fourier plane. This can efficiently model optical filtering and minor deviations and propagation distances. Finally, a CNN at the target planes adds additional aberrations. In our paper, we show that this model outperforms prior state-of-the-art learned propagation models with four times fewer parameters. With the quantization layer and learned propagation model, we can now synthesize high-quality phase patterns for a variety of supervision types. Firstly, by supervising the time average intensity at a particular target plane, we can produce high-quality 2D holograms. Here, we show a captured hologram made without our framework. If we add our propagation model, the image quality improves. If we add our quantization layer, the image quality improves further. Finally, with our full framework and time multiplexing, we see the best results. To create 2.5D holograms, we can supervise the time average intensity at each in-focus point at its corresponding depth plane. We can also produce 3D holograms by supervising the time average intensity at multiple full target planes. If we penalize only the in-focus amplitude across the target planes, 
we can generate the image quality on the right that outperforms the prior state of the art shown on the left. With the additional degrees of freedom provided by time multiplexing, we can also supervise multiple target amplitudes without overconstraining the SLM phases. This supervision enables very high quality holographic focal stacks. These experimentally captured results demonstrate extremely impressive natural defocused blur with a shallow depth of field. We can also predict the outputted light field by applying the short time Fourier transform to the wavefront at a particular target plane. This can be used to optimize phase patterns to produce a desired light field. With this, we can produce state-of-the-art light field holograms. Recent work shown on the left assumes a smooth target phase, which limits the bandwidth of reconstructed light field views. Since our novel technique shown on the right accurately reproduces a full set of light field views, we can produce view-dependent effects such as parallax. The light field supervised phase patterns from our framework ultimately produce captured results with state-of-the-art high image quality and shallow depth of field. In this work, we have used AI techniques to unlock the incredible potential of time multiplex holography, even in the presence of heavy quantization.